I've been combating depression for quite some time, and I've been trying to figure out what I can do to remedy my situation. I've been taking a lot of vitamins, a lot of B-stress complex, a lot of GABA receptors, ashwagandha, and I find that it's working minimally because I still have a lot of depression and I still have issues with my sleep. I've been feeling really depressed still and feeling really alone and basically empty inside. I'm crying all day today. So I just feel so alone, unloved and unwanted. And I've come to the realization that, you know, I'm different than everybody else. And that's why I can't attain my needs and my goals. I can't attract a partner that is good for me because I don't know how. I have a lot that I need to work on. You know, I'm almost 40 years old, and it's just I've come all this way in life, and it seems like everything I've ever done has been in vain, and that I've failed. Every person I ever liked that I pour my heart into either uses me as a doormat and doesn't tell me up front, and they'll lead me along, and then I'll believe that they feel something for me, and then it turns out the whole time they weren't even attracted to me. Even years later, I find this out, and it's real heartbreaking. And this will be people that I've invested in for years, and I've tried to court, that I've bought gifts for, that I've done things for, that I've been basically a doormat to. I've had to listen to their problems nonstop. They haven't even asked me how I'm doing, if I'm okay. And, you know, it's just, I've come to this realization that society only cares about itself. It's greedy. Nobody gives a damn. That is why the world is the way it is. And it's extremely fucking painful. I don't know how much more I can really take or handle. I've just had it up to here with people and society. I hate people for how they've treated me and what they do. I hate women and men the same way equally. However, I do like people as individuals, depending on how they are and how they treat me and how they treat others. If they're good to me, then I'll end up liking them, but 98% of the time, I really don't like people. And I feel like the world's an evil, cruel, wicked place, and nobody gives a fuck. I could drop dead tonight and nobody would care. Nobody would miss me. I'm sure my mom would, I'm sure her dogs would. My cat, my guinea pig, maybe a couple friends here and there, but it wouldn't really mean nothing. When would my pain and suffering really stop? I fought so hard to get where I've gotten in life. And having Asperger's automatically deems me as being different. The world looks at me differently. Society looks at me differently. And I don't relate to the world in the same way. I look at things as black and white, either good or bad. I don't have a gray area, and I never have. And I see the world through a filter of my pain. And it's hard for me not to see it any other way. Because I've had trauma my entire life. And it's fucked me up, and I'm permanently damaged from it. And I feel like the only person I could ever be with is someone who's had the same challenges and same dysfunctions that I've had to go through. I feel that if I didn't have somebody who didn't have that, then the relationship would never work and it would cease to fail. It would cease to work. I mean, I'm just so broken. I don't know what to do anymore. My heart hurts. All I want is for somebody to hold me and tell me everything is going to be okay. And let me lean on their chest. Granted, I've had that, but it's not real. It's without a feeling, it's fake. I'd have to pay for it oftentimes. And you can't fake love. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You can try, but you're only gonna hurt yourself and end up like me. That cannot be faked, it has to be genuine. And that's the thing, I don't know. Maybe I'm unlovable as a person. I don't know, but I do have a lot of hatred in me and a lot of anger. I almost got in a fight today with a guy that I've known for over 30 years. And for those that know me, you know, I'm always armed everywhere I go. I carry a gun. And 
nine millimeter. Sometimes a 380, sometimes I'll carry a 38 special. I've been attacked, I've been beaten. I decided enough's enough. The next fucker who ever puts hands on me is gonna end up dead. And I don't care if I end up in prison, because I know I will end up in prison, especially here in California. And I don't joke around. I've been bullied my whole life. I've been robbed. I've been attacked. Even by my own family, my own mother included back before she had her stroke. I lived in a very controlling environment which brought me down emotionally and made my depression a lot worse. So not to get off topic, but this guy that I've known for 30 years, I made a commentary saying that his older middle-aged girlfriend is very needy and clingy, but I didn't mean it in a way to insult her. I just said, you know, I said, she's a good person. She's a nice person. And he got upset and he said, if I don't want to get my teeth knocked out, that I better shut my mouth. And this is a guy I've known since I was seven years old. I'm going to be 40 years old here. And I was just kind of shocked that this guy would say that to me like that. And I apologized to him. And the dude always was kind of a bully. And I thought for a mere moment, if he tries to put me in a chokehold or whatever, I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm not really the best combat fighter that there is. Not at all. This guy's been in the army. I don't want to fight somebody I've known for over 30 years. It just wouldn't be right. But I had my gun right in my pocket. Little did he know. I mean, I know violence is not the answer, but sometimes I feel that it is. If somebody's hurting you and they're attacking you, even though I aggressed the situation by saying what I said, even though I didn't mean it, we are talking about girlfriends and dating and romance. And this guy doesn't have the best relationships. He jumps from relationships to relationships. I mean, I kind of done the same thing too, so I can't really talk. I wasn't really angry at him. I was more hurt than anything else. It hurt my feelings. Came back home and I cried tears. It really fucking broke me. If it had been a stranger, I wouldn't have hesitated. I would have pulled a weapon on them. And I would have probably gone to jail or prison. I feel like that might happen to me in the future just because of what I have to go through and the things that I see and the people I encounter on a daily basis. Whether it's a homeless, whether it's a mentally ill. I mean, I'm mentally ill, I'll admit it. Because depression is a mental illness and I'm in constant pain nonstop. I just want my pain to fucking end. I don't want to commit suicide or anything, but I just want it to all end. I don't want to feel these feelings anymore. I don't want to hurt. I don't want to have to cry. I don't want to have a broken heart. I don't want to have, to have somebody tell me they're not attracted to me so they can't be with me after I've spent five years on them, taking care of them, giving them things. I don't want that. I feel that I deserve more. And I've put out so much I'm not getting anything in return. Anything but bad things and hurt. And I'm just fed up and I'm tired. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I'm at that point where I've had it. Something's got to change. What are your guys' thoughts? Sorry, I'm in a bad mood. <laughs>